All right. So the Blue Jays uh, come away with this one. 5-1 over the Chicago White Sox and win the series. Win two games in a row. And are actually 7-3 and three in their last 10 games. Which is pretty darn good. I mean, however, you are playing Oakland, the Angels, and now the White Sox. However, you've got to take care of business. And they have. They swept the... The uh, Oakland Athletics, they lost 2-1 to one in the series against uh, against the Angels, but they won this series, two games to one. Like I said, 5-1 over the Chicago White Sox in this game. Jay Happ was dynamite in this game. When he did get into trouble, he was able to get out of it. The first couple innings had a couple runners on, and the first inning got out of it. Second inning, I think it was, that he there was Tim Anderson tripled to lead off the inning, but... He stranded him there. It was fantastic. A speedster at third base with nobody out, and you and you hold him there. Just a great job by Jay Happ. And the and the and the bats came alive once again. But why not? You know, it wouldn't be a Blue Jays win without a Justin Smoke something or other. Justin Smoke doubles to left in the third inning, scoring Josh Donaldson, who walked earlier uh, in that inning. We move to the sixth inning. Steve Pierce on the very first pitch hits a shot to left field, his 11th home run of the season, and Steve Pierce continues to rake the baseball, and it is two. Nothing Blue Jays, and that's in the sixth inning. They score one in the bottom of the sixth, making it a two to one game, but Hap settles down. The Blue Jays, see, we lose Montero. It looks like he tweaked something. I mean, I don't know exactly what he would have tweaked. But, he leaves the game, in comes Russell Martin. We move to the 8th inning, the top of the 8th. With, uh, you know, th- this is what I like to see from the Blue Jays. They grinded. You know, in this 8th inning, you have a, you have a lead. You, ha- you have a, you know, you, you have the lead at this point. You've got a 2-1 to one lead, but that's not good enough. You want more, you have an opportunity to get more, so you take advantage of that and score more runs. It's plain and simple. Look how this all started. Pierce walks on a full count. Pilar singles. Then Ruff Snyder gets out. However, the Blue Jays don't ground into a double play. And Russell Martin comes off the bench. Singles to center. Pierce scores. 3-1. Blue Jays. And then Russell, Ma- Russell Martin actually steals second base, which is kind of nuts on the play. But Pilar was already at third. So it was more or less an indifference kind of thing. But, and then on a wild pitch, Kevin Pilar scores. So a little bit of luck there, a little bit of bad pitching on their end, and the Blue Jays take a 4-1 lead. We move to the top of the ninth inning. And, you know, on the very first pitch, may I add, once again, Josh Donaldson, his third home run in his last three games, Josh Donaldson is heating up. And uh, his 13th home run of the season makes it a 5-1 Blue Jay lead. Now, a couple things I want to talk about. Number one, Jay Happ. Obviously, a great start. Seven innings, five, six hits, one run, walked one, struck out ten guys. Jay Happ was on point in this one. Now, something I we talked about yesterday, and um, I thought this was going to happen, and then things kind of changed. I said in the video, I'm like, maybe Dominic Leone could take over that eighth inning role. Well, he comes out in the eighth inning with a 4-1 lead, and... Gets the first two guys to strike out, then gives up a walk. And then Gibbons decides to change the pitcher. I I'm I think Dominic Leone should get that chance to get the rookie out. Forgot the name of the rookie, but nonetheless, um yeah, it was Delmonico. That was that was his name. And give give Dominic Leone the chance to close out at that eight eighth, eighth inning and give him that opportunity. But instead, you take him out, Aaron Loop comes in, he walks a guy, and then you bring out Joe Biagini right after. So it's like, you didn't really need to do all that kind of stuff. And in, an, in a third of an inning, Joe Biagini gives up two hits. Roberto Osuna comes out in the ninth inning, and that is more like Roberto Osuna. His fastball velocity is still a little bit down, but he was working with his other pitches. Pitched an inning, didn't give up a hit, did not walk a batter, and struck out a guy for his 27th save of the season. Why was it a save? Because Joe Biagini, or he came in with two runners on in the ninth inning. Therefore, it is considered a save opportunity, and he converted. And it's great to see Roberto Osuna get back in the save column. Now, 
I'm happy with this Blue Jays ball club as of late. They've been playing some decent baseball other than the blown leads, but when they have won games, they have won nicely. They have been it's been nice. Yesterday was not a high stressful game. Today was not a high stressful game because the Jays had the lead all the way. Um you know, and then you I mean obviously the the the, the big loss the night ago and then the huge comeback. So it's like the Blue Jays have had big opportunities. They had an opportunity to sweep the series, but they blew a 6 nothing lead. They had an opportunity to win the series before, but they blew two leads. It happened. All right? As much as we hate it and we want to look back and say, Ugh! it happened. But, like I said, the Blue, like I said earlier in the video, the Jays are now 7-3 and three in their last 10. They're only six games under 500. I'm not expecting a playoff burst, but I want to see some fight from this team, and we've seen it of late. But, What's gonna happen? What's what's gonna happen in this upcoming series? Jays get a day off tomorrow before they head down to Houston to take on the Astros. Uh, this might be tricky. Cesar Valdez on the mound for the Blue Jays. He had a very good first start, as we know, and his second start was eh, not so great. Brad Peacock on the mound for the Astros, nine and one with a two point six two earned run average. Very very nice ERA. Game two of the series, Marco Estrada versus Charlie Morton. Uh, Mark Wishart looking to build on a very good last start. That'd be very nice to see from him. And Marcus Stroman uh, closing off that series against Mike Fires in the finale. So, I'm not putting expectations on this. We're just going to go into game one and just say, okay, let's see what happens. I don't know what to expect. If you're looking at a positive note, if you're trying to find a positive out of this, you can say, okay, well, one, the Houston Astros aren't playing so great. They've lost. They're five and five in their last ten. They've been kind of struggling a little bit. Well, a main reason is Lance McCullers Jr. on the DL, Will Harris reliever on the DL, George George Springer on the DL, Carlos Correa on the DL with a torn ligament in his uh, where was that in his left thumb. So it doesn't look like any of those guys will be back for the Blue Jays series. Which, if you're a Blue Jays fan and you want to see your team win, that's nice. Now, I don't know if they'll come off the DL in time. I don't even know if they're eligible to come off the DL. But, I would love, I would love a series win against the Astros. I think you guys can agree with me on that, alright? So, you know what, guys? That is going to do it for this one. If you guys enjoyed this video, and if you, if you enjoyed today's game, because it was a pretty solid all-around game for the Blue Jays, um, does suck to see one of your catchers go down, but my question to you guys, and I'm going to leave this to you, okay? Before we end off here, now that Montero goes down and leaves the game, if, which I'm pretty sure he will, but if he does go on the disabled list, who's next up? We had Luke Bailey, he's gone. Montero, he's gone. Do you start digging a little bit deeper than AAA? There's a guy in AA, Danny Jansen, hitting, I think he's hitting like 312 or 3 something or maybe something around there. I don't think he's a guy you call up, but it's an option. Um, I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know if he's even going to go on the disabled list, but I want to know what you guys think. If Montero goes on the DL, what do they do? I'm very curious what you guys have to say about that because there's a ton of things they can try and do. Let's hear what you guys have to say, all right? So if you guys enjoyed this one, hit that like button. I do appreciate that. Hit the subscribe button if you guys have not already. Comment down below. What did you guys think of the game? Haps performance. Uh, the Jays' bats, once again. They only had eight hits, but they made those hits count. And um, Roberto Osuna finding his way. Let me know what you guys think, and we'll talk to you guys. Well, won't be tomorrow night. Tomorrow's our day off, too. As uh, We'll talk to you guys Tuesday night. As the Jays, like I said, are in Houston taking on the Astros. And it's an 8-10 first pitch. Cesar Valdez, Brad Peacock. That's a pitching matchup in game one. We'll talk to you guys then.